we've come into Birmingham today because we are going to a tie-dye party. Tie-dye party is not my kind of thing. Well, tie-dyeing is not my kind of thing. But I love the idea behind it. So World Mental Health Day was yesterday and the idea of this party is that we dye something small that we can then wear on bad days to feel a bit lifted and remember a lovely time with friends. And this is going to be with our baby rain friends who are some of my favourite people in the world. So I'm actually really excited, even though the activity isn't my kind of thing. And we are back in Birmingham for another sling library. <laughs> are you going to tell everyone why I didn't do any filming at the sling library? Yeah. Go on then. Why didn't I do any filming at the sling library? Yeah. Was it because you just wanted to run away? Yeah. You wanted to go and explore? Yeah. Rather than stay with all the toys and play? Yeah, you didn't. You didn't really want to try on a sling, but we we had a go. No, we did. We tried out a connector. Mm. We did, but you didn't want to stay up very long because you wanted to explore. So I spent the majority of the sling library session wandering after a toddler who just wanted to explore. But I wasn't the only volunteer who was um, wandering around after a toddler who wanted to explore. Mama. Yes. You have a friend. Mama. You have a friend who is. Mama. Yes, darling. You have a friend who is four days older than you, who was also there, and the pair of them just wanted to go in different directions, because we were going to do it that one of us had the two children and the other helped. Um, <laughs> people come into the library with slings, and then swap, and that didn't happen <laughs> because both children wanted to go in different directions <laughs> most of the time. But Are we going to read your book? Yeah. <gasps> what does Duckling like? I will be back once we've read the book. Probably five times. Lissy got bored and went straight for Freya. Mama. Yes, darling? Yeah. Ah. Okay. Not quite sure what I'm saying okay to, but never mind. So I felt a little bit disappointed that I didn't get to film more and I also didn't film on Saturday when I had my hair cut, which I'm really pleased with. Um, but actually, I've come to realise that it's okay that I didn't film at the Sling Library because Elise needed me. And to be running around with my camera when she needed me would be silly and not very good of me. So I shouldn't feel bad for not filming. Um, and although I wanted to film at the hairdressers, I'm glad I didn't because I needed that time just to relax and not feel like I had to do anything. Um, and it's always nice to properly get to know a new hairdresser. Um, and then I felt bad because I was going to film. We popped out into town um, for a couple of things that we needed to get, including milk for Elise. Um, and then she got grumpy. Oh no! And we went out to town this morning and I was going to film then and kind of do all the explaining of why I haven't filmed. And we only popped out for Elise's milk. Um, but she was grumpy the entire time. And I didn't want to film because she was grumpy and she clearly wouldn't have been happy if I tried to film. So I didn't even bother. And I think that's the way I need to play it. Film when I can, but it's okay if I can't. Okay, you're doing really good chattering. You are. So this afternoon we have done some photos of a wrap that is on holiday with us, um, on loan from a friend, gorgeous wrap, so I wanted to get some nice photos before it goes back to her in a week or so. And tomorrow, which I think is another reason I haven't filmed, because I'm, I'm probably a little bit on edge, although I'm not necessarily thinking about it or trying not to. Um, my stress levels are creeping up very slowly. Um, I've got a meeting with wheelchair service tomorrow to discuss the issues with my chair and what we're going to do about it. And 
I have a friend who's very kindly offered to come with me because it's ridiculous now. So I'm not going to be on my own, but it's still, it's the unknown and it's taken so long and it should never have happened. And I should never have been, I should never have had the appointment to pick up the chair because they should have picked up that it was wrong. And then when I said it was wrong, I shouldn't have been left to try it because that's added an extra month on. Anyway, yeah, I need to get tomorrow out of the way and then I think everything will be a lot easier. Hello, Noisy! Daddy's got a parcel. Is it a parcel for school? No, I think it might be. It's not your parcel, so we're not going to open it. Okay, we'll wait for Daddy. Yeah, it's a parcel. Daddy's bought something, probably for school. Yesterday's appointment with wheelchair service was absolutely exhausting, but I'm very pleased to say that I think we have the best case scenario solution. So, it turns out that the order form is wrong. The order form said that my foot plate should have come as standard rather than up mounted, and they can't do that. Um, apparently there was supposed to be an edit that didn't happen, um, and my concern with the frame length we had the foot plate at its highest point would be that we would need a whole new chair to be able to get the right foot plate on height. But it turns out that my seat height is also too high. Um, sorry, also too high. My seat height is too high. So when you put your hand down by your wheel, it's supposed to touch or almost touch. The circle in the middle, mine was nowhere close, about two inches away. So I was sitting too high, which meant that propelling and manoeuvring was much more difficult than it needed to be. Um, but it also meant that we couldn't get the right foot plate height because I was effectively having another two inches added. So the plan is I'm going to order me a new foot plate with the cover because the upmounted one is too small to go into the wheelchair's frame itself. They're also going to order a few um, clamps and things like that, I'm not sure what, so that they can lower the seat height. And they're gonna sort the bucket out by putting the back um, of the seat rest, I think it's 20 millimeters lower, and the front 15 millimeters lower so that I've got more of an angle. In theory, it's gonna be great. I just hope it actually works in practice. But another positive is that I won't need to get a new freewheel because with the foot plate where we we're anticipating it would be, there's a strong possibility I would need an adapted free wheel or a specially made free wheel that doesn't go quite so low. Um, so it's, it's a circle, there's your wheel, free wheel comes up and goes down and then up. On the adapted ones it goes up and carries on. But I won't need a new one because it will fit the foot plate and I'll just be sitting lower which will also mean getting under tables is easier and because of the wheel position and my hands, moving around will be easier, which is such a relief, but I'm also really annoyed that for the past three years, I've had a chair that the seat is too high because we ordered the same as the old chair. So yeah, that shouldn't have happened, but at least now we are getting to the point where hopefully we should have a properly fitting chair moving forward. The so fingers crossed. And we've come into town today because I need to buy some birthday presents and we are meeting a friend for coffee afterwards.